to ESC TV. My name is Ewa Jankowska and I am a member of Cardiologists of Tomorrow Nucleus. Today we have unique opportunity to discuss recent advances, uh, novel technologies uh, on acute heart failure with the recognized expert in the field, Professor Christian Müller. In the field of acute heart failure, we are observing kind of paradox. On the one hand, we are overwhelmed by patients who are admitted due to the compensation. Mm -hmm. There are many, many drugs that have been tested, but at the same time, currently, the treatment remains the same as it used to be 50, 60 years ago. Why so? Eva, I think it's a very, very uh, important observation. So our treatment that you in your hospital, I in my hospital use in patients with acute heart failure, it's uh, frusamide, it's nitrates, and uh, it's digoxin in patients with uh, rapid atrial uh, fibrillation. And uh, our colleagues uh, 40 years ago used the identical drugs. And it's uh, very difficult to explain why in the field of cardiology, where we have so much innovation, uh, nothing else uh, proved to be superior than this. And I think the, perhaps the most important uh, detail to explain it is that the therapy is quite effective. It's very effective to really improve uh, symptoms to some extent, but also to lower filling pressures. But then if we step back and see that uh, still these patients, although they feel better and although the fluid, uh, we can uh, effectively remove fluids, outcome of the patients is still very, very bad. Recently we have learned that it also is important when to start treatment. And uh, I think uh, some of the earlier drugs just may have failed because we have started treatment too late. And uh, so mm -hmm. the golden hours of opportunity, like we have the acute MI, may be very early on. I'm very curious, uh, are there any drugs on the horizon that hopefully will change the history of acute heart failure? Uh, yes, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I think both of us uh, participate in uh, uh, two of the large studies that investigate uh, two new investigational drugs, uh, both kind of predominantly acting on the vasculature to unload the heart and uh, so and we are also uh, very interested in the galactic study which is a study that uses uh, the currently available drugs uh, but at uh, much higher doses uh, in patients with acute heart failure kind of not uh, novel drugs but existing drugs in uh, doses that are much higher than uh, contemporary used in, in in clinical practice it sounds very interesting and it looks like that the future seems to be rather bright, although probably not without any clouds. <laughs> Absolutely. I think uh, it's so important that we identify acute heart failure as one of the most important areas in cardiology to do better research. And because acute heart failure as a uh, topic and also the patients are not kind of owned by a single specialty, it really relies on very good uh, cooperation, interdisciplinary cooperation between cardiologists, between emergency medicine specialists, intensivists. And I think that's likely also one of the explanations why we, are, we lack behind other areas. So in many of our institutions it has, has been difficult to get this cooperation, but that's of course absolutely mandatory uh, to advance it the field like of acute It looks like to be the key failure. of the success. Absolutely. And I, I assume agree. this will be also the term of the forthcoming Congress in Geneva, absolutely. which I think everybody is welcome to attend. Absolutely. So I'm uh, very much looking forward to welcome you as well as uh, all of our colleagues uh, at the meeting in Geneva. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much.